Greetings everyone and welcome back to yet another game commentary video with me, Kamzit. And today we shall be chattering about Empire Earth 2 as we have finished the campaign. Uh, sure, we have skipped a few, uh, especially in the Art of Supremacy, I've skipped the t e um, turning points and the scenarios in the previous, uh, you know, the normal one, which is not expansion. We have skipped also some of the scenarios as well. Uh, but I would like to encourage everyone to try it out and feel free to do so. Uh, but I shall just, you know, shelf this game for now. Who knows, maybe I'll be up for a multiplayer if you guys would like to do so. But anyway, before we continue on chattering more about this game and so on, I would like to ask you guys to also be free of leaning back, lay down, grab something to eat and drink just to enjoy me chattering through. But apart from that, I would like to also say that it will be really awesome if you could guys credit and thank Dr. Mona Lisa, as I'm doing right now, uh, that I'm really grateful for his uh, patch, which made it uh, possible for me to record this game and upload it as well, not again mentioning that it's you know, the resolution has been fixed and there's a lot more things uh, that he added, which are truly nice to see, actually. Um, it is also nice and really grateful that he is offering some um, functioning multiplayer servers, which are really great and still working. So we guys uh, could play with me or so, and we can have some fun. Not to forget... Uh, to point out as well that you are free and able to donate towards him as he also notifies because there's a lot of people downloading it and playing it through it mm -hmm. and it's always great to tip him and give him some uh, you know heads up because you know keeping those servers up and all that costs some money and he really deserves a little bit of a gratitude shown not just by words but also by money because uh, you know everything has its cost and so on. But bear in mind to only offer money when you're able. Like, first think of about yourself and then others. But, um, yeah, that's it, what I wanted to say. Because now we're going to get going offering our opinions, thoughts and feedback about this game. First thing first, the graphics. Well, the model seems to be more improved than the previous one. Than Empire Earth. Uh, that's surely it. And they really look nice. That's for sure not to forget mentioning that the buildings look also more greater and they have like civilizations here in the previous one we didn't have them and they change with asian ones you have european ones you have middle eastern ones and you have african ones which is really cool to see and in my opinion it's great Sure, right now it's 2021 and there's more resources and more technology improvement to make the big game even better. So you guys can for sure, you know, add and make it a bit more different and even more greater. Not um, to even point out that Empire 3 is a great game, but it doesn't really have a campaign which is sending. I tried it out myself to play it, but it just keeps crashing. So I'm like, I'm not gonna bother with it for now but it will be fun to maybe play it who knows but then again let's just stick to the main subject Ember Earth 2 is a really improvement in my opinion to the uh, entire series because it has some weather how should I say um, 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 well influence like the weather when it turns rain or snow your units walk slower or there's less a visible sight and so on and that's just really something great to see within a RTS games. You do not see that very often within those series and that's why I really like Empire Earth for this reason. I know it sounds absurd but it, it, it has like a realism into a game and that's really amazing to see in my opinion. And it is also fun always, the voice acting as well. I really love them from here. So, for, first one had some great ones too, especially with the prehistoric age, which is truly humoring and uh, nice to have as well. But for the else, I really do not have much else to say. Like the campaigns were really fun too. I myself personally enjoyed the American ones because we had a lot of units control and more fighting instead of con constantly micromanaging and so on but then again that's my preference uh, even though rts game is always building up and fighting on as well but at times it'll be really nice to do some missions like you know lore uh well lore i mean how should i say 
historical events and all that to be implanted and to play through and that's what really did happen as well but it would be me all nice if they added more because again we always want more but further else is just great empire earth really has also some nice civilization editor and starting forces editor and it just gave some more you know greatness as well and it really felt rewarding when we finished some missions as well that we could get some more troops going and it just ends even gives you a little bit of help in every next mission so it's really a great addition too and of course i have played it through a normal difficulty uh, sure i struggled and failed at times but i'm sure you guys can do better yet then again i would love to point out that everyone has their own skill set and so uh, do you and i so let's not judge each other upon that and uh, of course we are free to offer feedback just as we did right now about this game and that concludes it so if you have your own opinion thoughts and feedback you would like to offer write it down in the comments box below or join my discord server so we can have a chit chat about it and if you would like to play this game together with me feel free to point it out and we can do so as i shall be recording as well but anyway this was it so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it do you want to recommend something in Rocket Game together that's possible as well just write it down in the comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chit chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys later.